in this session we'll discuss about memory segmentation now what do you mean by segmentation as we know what is a memory and how much amount of memory that can be interfaced with 8086 is 1 mb that depends on the number of address lines as it has 20 address lines so we can interface up to 1 mb of memory now what do you mean by segmentation segmentation generally means dividing or making it parts now here memory segmentation is nothing but dividing or dividing the entire uh, 1 mb memory into some parts or some logical segments okay so we are dividing this entire 1 mb memory into uh, a number of logical segments okay and uh, the size of each and every logical segment is 64 kilobytes why we are going with only 64 kilobytes of uh, memory segmentation or 64 kilobytes of uh, the size of each and every segment because here we have 16 bit registers for accessing the memory so as we have 16 bit registers we can only access up to 64 kilobytes with the help of 16 bit registers so that is why uh, here each and every segment size is of 64 kilobytes okay now so how many segments are present there are totally uh, this complete 1 mb memory is divided into uh, 16 logical segments why because 64 kilobytes into 16 segments or 16 is nothing but 1 mb okay so here the size of each and every segment is 64 kilobytes and all these segments are named as core segment data segment extra segment and stack segment so there are only four segments and there are only four names given to these segments like core segment data segment extra segment as well as stack segment okay and there can be any number of core segments there can be any number of data segments there can be any number of extra segments as well as there can be any number of stack segments and uh, the number of code data as well as extra as well as stack segments depends on the user program okay now here uh, so the complete physically available memory may be divided into number of logical segments as i told you now here the starting address is 5 zeros and the ending address is 5 fs okay now here uh, this address is represented in hexadecimal form okay now if you represent the same address in binary form now it would give you a 20 bit address which is nothing but the exact location where actually the <coughs> operand is resided okay now it is a 20 bit address but by using 16 bit address or 16 bit register we cannot access or we cannot uh, we cannot uh, retrieve the data which is present in this particular memory locations so for that purpose we use one of the register for holding one kind of uh, Uh, address and the other register for holding the other kind of address okay now let us see what is that <coughs> now here as we have four segments core segment data segment extra segment as well as data se uh, stack segment core segment is used for holding the instructions so whatever the instructions written by the user now that are stored inside this core segment and coming to the stack segment which is mainly used for holding the written addresses okay and this is used in case of uh, function calls or as interrupt service routines okay and data and extra segments are mainly used for holding the data uh, that is user data okay and as i told you that the size of each segment is 64 kilobytes and there are 16 logical segments a segment may be located anywhere in the memory so uh, any of these segments are located anywhere in the memory and at a time only four segments are active and those four segments are core segment data segment extra segment and then stack segment the four segments are code okay and uh, a segment is a 64 kilobytes block of memory 16 bit contents of segment registers in the biu actually point to the starting location of a particular segment now we have some segment registers inside the biu now all these segment registers will be pointing to the uh, actual point or starting location of the particular segment we'll see that okay and what is the advantage of going with segmentation now here Uh, as it is a 1 mb memory but we can access this 1 mb memory with the help of 16 bit registers okay and then the code or data will be placed anywhere in the program that is will be placed anywhere in the memory okay and uh, the segment registers are used to allow the instruction data or stack portion of a program to be more than 64 kilobytes long the above can be achieved by using more than one code data or stack segments if uh, if assuming that we have written a program now the code 
part of the program is more than 64 kilobytes then uh, two or three code segments are assigned for that particular code that depends on the size of the code okay as i told you that any number of code data or else stack extra segments can be assigned in the memory <coughs> now let us see what are these segment registers we have totally four segment registers code segment register data segment register extra segment register and stack segment register don't get confused with the register as well as a segment in the memory those are segments and these are registers now all these registers are used for holding the starting address of their respective segment it means code segment register is used for holding the starting address of code segment data segment register used for holding the starting address of data segment extra segment register used for holding the starting address of extra segment and stack segment register is used for holding the starting address of the stack segment okay now all are 16 bit registers but so as all these are 16 bit registers they would be holding only the segment address or as the starting address now how to access each and every individual location from the memory okay now for accessing individual memory locations inside the memory we need offset address we need offset address and those offset addresses are stored inside some other registers we'll see that now each of the segment registers store the upper 16 bit address of the starting address of the corresponding segments so they would be holding only the upper 16 bit address but not the lower 16 bit address so we need to hold this to, uh, lower 16 bit address by using the offset registers now here cs is the register holding the starting address of the uh, code segment and uh, we'll get or uh, we can access a single location inside the code segment by adding uh, this segment address that is uh, by adding the contents of this code segment register along with instruction pointer now this particular register will be holding the offset address of the uh, code segment so by adding the contents of ip and cs we'll get the physical address inside the code segment okay and uh, if you go for stack segment now stack segment register will be holding the starting address of the stack segment and uh, we'll get the physical address of a particular operand stored inside the stack segment by adding uh, this particular register that is ss register with this sp register and then we have data segment register which will be holding the starting address of data segment and we'll get the exact location of an operand which is resided in the data segment by adding ds with si which is nothing but source index register and in the same way extra segment is added with di for getting the physical address inside the extra segment register <coughs> now let us see an example here this is the memory uh, which is uh, started from the zero location now, as you can see here code data extra as well as stack are assigned somewhere else, somewhere in the program or somewhere in the memory okay and uh, the size of each every each and every segment is 64 kilobytes okay now here the code segment address starts from 34 ba0 and ends at double four b9f now uh, the distance the distance between the starting and the ending address is 64 kilobytes okay now it is a 20 bit address but segment registers can o can hold only 16 bit address therefore it is going to hold this upper 16 bit address which is nothing but 34 ba 34 ba is stored inside this csr which is nothing but code segment register in the same way dsr esr and ssr will be holding the upper address that is upper 16 bit address now the lower 16 bit address will be holding by some other registers those are pointer and then index registers as just now we have seen okay now instruction pointer is the uh, register whose length is 16 bit and it is mainly used for holding the offset address of the code segment so when this register is added with code segment register then we'll get the 20 bit physical address which indicates the address of the next instruction that is to be fetched by the processor from the memory okay so cs along with ip will give us an address that address indicates the address of the next instruction to be fetched from the memory now as you can see here there is an offset address whose uh, length is 16 bits and uh, a 20 bit segment address okay now initially both the addresses segment register as well as offset register will be holding uh, 16 16 bit addresses now segment register is shifted towards left by 4 bits 
and then add it with this offset register which will give you 20 bit physical address let us see this with an example <coughs> now here you can see that offset value is a 16 bit value okay uh, which is uh, 29 and then uh, segment address is again a 16 bit value as you can see here four digits in hexadecimal is nothing but 16 bits in binary so one triple zero okay now we have to get the 20 bit physical address from these two addresses so how we are going to get this initially this one triple zero <coughs> will be shifted towards left by four bits by the address conversion mechanism adder which is present inside the bus interface unit okay now these address calculations will be done by address conversion mechanism adder which is present in the BIU so this thousand will be shifted towards left by four bits as you can see here it is shifted towards left by four bits okay so four zeros are appended uh, at the right side and then this 29 is added okay then you'll get the required physical address that is 10029 now this is the exact location where actually the operand is resided <coughs> and uh, here you can see how to form the physical address in case of code segment data segment extra segment stack segment okay so CSIP will be giving us the physical address inside the code segment SSSP or SSSP uh, SSBP will be giving us the physical address inside the stack segment DSBX or DS SI will be giving us the physical address in uh, uh, data segment okay DSDI for other than string operations and then ESDI for string operations will be giving us the physical address inside the extra segment as I told you that BX is also a register which be, which will be used for holding the offset address okay so this is how uh, the memory uh, that is 1 MB memory is divided into some of the segments and that can be accessed with the help of segment registers as well as offset registers which will give us uh, the physical address which is nothing but the exact location where actually the operand is resided okay so in the next session we'll discuss about addressing modes thank you